Welcome to VHS Voyage, where we're on a journey to find, watch, and discuss movies on VHS we've never seen or never knew existed. I'm Matt. I'm Devin. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the people under the stairs. And after last week's movie, this week's movie is a breath of fresh air, and that is The People Under the Stairs. Now, this is one that Devin has seen that I haven't seen. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know this movie existed, which is shocking. Let's get into it. Devin, hit us with some facts and information. Yup, this is written and directed by Wes Craven. He got the idea from sort of a real event. I guess these two burglars broke into a house and then the cops found out that there was actually kidnapped kids, like oh shit, a, bu a bunch of kidnapped kids wow. locked under the house. So it's loosely kind of based off of a, a news story he heard. This stars Brandon Adams, Everett McGill, Wendy Roby, AJ Langer, Ving Rames, and Sean Wallen. You know, I wanted to find some fun facts about this movie, but I really couldn't find a lot about this movie. I wanted mm -hmm. to find something about how it was made because mm -hmm. when they're going through the walls yeah. and all that, but I couldn't yeah. really find anything. The only thing I could find was that he kind of based it off a real event. There's not a lot of, a ton of information. I'm going to kind of cover the story of the people under stairs, but, I don't, but I'm not going to spoil everything because this is 100% a movie worth watching. You have got a... A uh, group of kids, their mom is sick, she has cancer. They're in kind of a low income neighborhood. They're not very wealthy, so they're, they can't afford their rent. They can't afford to pay for her medical care. And they're going to be evicted from the building. Now, everybody is slowly being evicted from this building because the people that own it, the landlords, want to get everybody out and turn it into a condominium so that they can make a lot of money off of it. Uh, Ving Rhames' character, Leroy, shows up to their place. You got the boy who is the main protagonist of the movie. His name is Poindexter, Dexter for short. So Leroy's in their house and he's like, hey, I might have an opportunity for you to make a little bit of money so that you can pay your rent. Leroy and his partner, Spencer, grab Dexter. And their plan is they're going to try to rob the landlords that own the building because they have heard through the grapevine that these landlords have a lot of gold in their house. So they want to get in there. They want to rob the place and get that gold because those landlords are evil pieces of shit that are trying to get everybody evicted. So they deserve to be robbed is kind of their thought process there. They go to case out the joint, get intel. So they send Dexter in. You know, it's like a Boy Scout to try to get in there and gather intel on the place. And that doesn't work out. So then Spencer dresses up as like a gas, a guy that works for a gas company so that he can get in there and gather intel. Leroy and Dexter have to go into the house because Spencer, the lady leaves and Spencer doesn't come out. So they suspect something's wrong. So they go in there and they get trapped in the house. And then that kind of kicks off the rest of the movie where Dexter and Leroy are fighting for survival while trying to figure out how to escape this house. And also, Dexter wants to rescue the daughter, Alice, because she's not a psycho like the two parents are. Now, there's a lot more to it than that. Yeah. This is the first horror movie I ever saw in my life. Really? Yes. How old were you? L little. Yeah. I have a very vivid memory of going to Showtime Video, a local mom and pop video store, my sister rented this because I think mm -hmm. my mom recommended it to her because my sister loved horror movies. I didn't really like horror movies in because they freaking, they scared me. Yeah. And I was like four, five, yeah. six, maybe. And I rented Too Fast, Too Furious. Ice. But I, I did watch this too at the same time. It was the first horror movie I ever saw. And I have like vivid memories of certain scenes. And I was like, oh yeah, there there it is. Like, it's weird that I can still like kind of remember that. But So have you seen it since then? No. Oh, really? No. Okay, so this was like almost like a new watching. It was. I, I viewed it a little bit differently because back then it wasn't the sadistic family that scared me. It yeah. was the people under the stairs yeah. that scared me as a kid. Yeah. Uh, not the sadistic family. Because I guess I just didn't pick up as a kid on right. the sadistic family stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this movie that a kid definitely wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. pick up on. But yeah, this is the first horror movie I, I ever saw. You know, I could actually see kids actually enjoying this movie because of the fact that the protagonist is a kid. Right. And let me tell you something, Dexter is the man, bro. Dude, this movie is basically Home Alone on crack. Yes. It's like Home Alone, yeah. but the most insane version yeah. of Home Alone you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Dude, Dexter is the man. The man. He is the man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the mom and dad. They are absolute <laughs> evil psychopaths. 
it's it's seriously it might be some of the best villains ever written into a horror movie or maybe just a movie in general they're so good they're some of the most evil disgusting yeah awful villains ever yeah but they're so good at the same time though because you genuinely mm -hmm. hate them yeah they're really really bad though so yeah. they're basically serial killers oh anybody yeah anybody that comes in their house gets murdered right. they don't let anybody leave that's their whole thing nobody leaves they're kidnappers this house right they're kidnappers yeah. which the people under the stairs i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what people under the stairs are basically babies that they that they baby snatched and i guess they were trying to look for a specific kind of baby mm -hmm. or specific like kind the of boy. perfect son they were looking yeah. for. Yeah. And if, it, if they don't find the perfect son, they throw them downstairs and lock them downstairs for the rest of their life. Right. And so they are really pale. They can't really talk. Mm -hmm. They're very like animal like. Yes. In their behavior. They eat people. People pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you got the daughter, Alice, who is, I'm. Uh, it turns out, the only girl supposed or you, it's insinuated that that's the only girl that they've ever uh, snatched and she thinks they're her parents. They terrorize her. They're physically abusive, psychologically abusive, emotionally abusive. And there's a scene where the mom throws her in a scalding hot bathtub yeah. and forces her to sit in scalding hot water that basically burns her. She throws her in a bloody puddle of where somebody yeah, just died and dude. forces her daughter to scrub and clean yeah. a bloody puddle of someone's dead body. Yeah. There they are right there. These <laughs> people are sadistic. Yeah. For some reason, when the dad gets really fired up, he just decides to throw on a gimp suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And use this like insane like shotgun and just blow holes in the wall. What I will say though is I like how in the first 30 minutes, it creates this mystery of when, when they get yeah. to the house. But the thing is, you know what's in the house because the movie literally is titled yeah. "What's in the House." The but the the whole time you're thinking like, "What is it? Like, what is it down? What is it actually that's down there?" But you know yeah. because the movie literally tells you. But I love that like first thirty minutes where you really don't fully know what's going yeah. on. It is there's also a dog in the house? Oh, too. Yeah. A Rottweiler. It's the mom and dad's dog, and they've got him trained to where they can just say "kill." and then he'll go try to kill. So not only is Dexter trying to navigate this place and run from the mom and dad, but he's also trying to run from the dog a lot, yeah. a lot of the movie as well. So it just adds even more challenge to, uh, to him trying to survive in this mm -hmm. place. Cops all flood the place. And in the time that he spent escaping their house and calling the cops and the cops getting there, these people have cleaned up the place They've hid all the, the things that are suspicious. They've got all the lights on. They're like cooking food. They got some music playing. They're making coffee for the police officers. They got Alice hidden. They got the people under the stairs under the control. Like they are pros when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, man. you can tell they've just been trained and ready and prepared. Oh yeah. Uh, and something about Dexter, I've heard Jordan Peele talk about this, but Jordan Peele said he loved this movie as a kid because Dexter is, a, I mean, he's a black kid, right. so, so he could see himself in Dexter, mm -hmm. but Jordan Peele always said he loved this movie because he could see himself in yeah. that character. And actually, if you think about Get Out, very mm -hmm. similar vibes. Yeah. Crazy family in a house, mm -hmm. there's something kind of weird going on under the house, mm -hmm. something sadistic and, and more at play. And so Get Out, has some uh, similar vibes to this movie a little bit. Yeah, and this was definitely original. I can't say I've really seen anything like it. Certainly not anything with this with this premise. I mean, it's it's just <laughs> it, bad shit crazy. Well, that's the thing. The movie it, it's not really scary. This is gonna make me sound insane. It's actually really fun. It is. It's, it's actually like movie. it's actually like fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have one small little thing that I don't. I do think some of the characters make dumb decisions sometimes. Like yeah. there's times where like oh he could kill that character and he's like delivering dialogue yeah. like and stuff like. Yeah. I, but that's just horror movie stuff. But what's yeah. funny about that is. Wes Craven goes on to make Scream and basically makes fun of all that stuff. Like he makes a movie that's yeah. making fun of this, some of the things that happen in his own movie. Yes, this is obviously a keeper. However, this copy, the outside of the case is a little bit beat up. The tape is in fantastic condition. I can't show you because it's in the VCR, but the tape is in fantastic condition. So 
I'm actually going to be giving away this copy because I'm going to go on eBay and order a really, really nice, uh, nicer copy of it. But again, the tape's in fantastic condition, works perfect. So if you want to enter that giveaway to get this copy of the people under the stairs, go to vhs.voyage and you can find the information on how to enter there. That is it for tonight's episode of VHS Voyage on the people under the stairs. I'm Matt, I'm Devin. We'll catch you guys next week.